Your next job interview might take place in a video game. Walmart recently announced that it's using virtual reality to promote and train managers. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers found out why companies here in KC are adopting the same kind of technology for their workers. In here. It's right behind me, isn't it? It's easy. They didn't send a chance. Clay Swanson is celebrating his birthday with a game at the Switch VR. The fact that it changes your entire perception of reality is just insane. He and his friends can fend off zombies like it's their job. Though if it really was. This freaks me out. They might not last very long. I'm sorry. Luckily, there's sorry. no lives on the line in a game. But in the working world, there's more at stake. You're spraying $18 a gallon fluid on a $30 million aircraft full of 300 souls. Lance Adams works for Global Ground Support, an Olathe company that manufactures de-icing trucks, the ones you see prepping planes for takeoff on a snowy day. One of the most difficult struggles that airlines and our customers struggle with is actually finding qualify people to spray. There's not much room for air, so to keep the operators from freezing up, you can actually drive our trucks. The company developed a simulation to go with their equipment. VR isn't just for games. I think it's changing how we live. The view from the simulator is the same as the view from up here in the cockpit of a de-icer. All the controls are the same, and experiencing it in a virtual setting is a safer and cheaper way to learn. It's actually an amazing tool. Adams even factored in hundreds of plane types, weather conditions, and scenarios. There's over 2.7 million variables in this software. It's technology that's become Becoming more accessible too. I've never taken a computer class. So accessible. This is a plumbing simulation. UMKC built an entire lab last semester. And then the boiler. Dedicated to virtual education and job training. This is talking me through a precaution and safety measures to take. Joshua Coney is demonstrating a walkthrough an oil company developed to better react to chemical spills. And so that's one of my colleagues who is unconscious. Med students can use it too. We can look at organs, there's the lungs, the kidneys. Kevin Truman is already planning on expanding the facility. VR and AR are just starting to, to take hold in the United States and more and more companies are starting to add virtual reality. Industries are seeking out the power of the first person experience. So you can actually put people through a test before you actually put them in a de-icer. Training in the safety of a game instead of throwing employees to the whore. It's just like reinventing the wheel of what you can do with, with a game. Adams believes it's only the start. I don't think we've even scratched the surface of it, to be honest with you. The surface of a digital world and a way to train like never before. In Olathe, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.